Congress may take action to reduce the more than 20,000 pregnancies that end in stillbirth every year. As KCRG TV9's Connor Hendricks reports, the bipartisan legislation introduced by Congresswoman Ashley Hinson aims to prevent the early deaths after research showed as many as one in four stillbirths are preventable. More than 10 times the number of babies die from stillbirth than SIDS every year, according to the CDC. That's why Emily Price with Count the Kick says the Maternal and Child Health Stillbirth Prevention Act introduced by Congresswoman Henson is so important. This legislation will save lives. We know it will have an immediate impact if health departments all across the co country start using their Title V dollars on stillbirth prevention. It has an immediate impact. When a mom learns about things like count the kicks or sleeping on her side during pregnancy, babies will be saved. Henson says the legislation would include stillbirths in the Title V federal grant program so public health agencies can use existing funding to educate pregnant patients on stillbirths. Well, simply put, it just opens up block grant dollars that are already being used for maternal health care to, to, to specifically look at stillbirth. Um, it's about educating and preventing stillbirth, making sure women know the signs uh, of, a, of, a, of a challenging pregnancy or maybe when something is going wrong. Count the Kicks is an app that helps patients count their baby's kicks in the third trimester. Price says you should contact your doctor if the count is off. And what we know is that a minimum of one out of every four stillbirths can be prevented. Maybe even up to as many as 60% of stillbirths can be prevented with programs and education like Count the Kicks. We're getting more babies here safely. We just need more awareness. It needs to be commonplace. Henson says she's working across the aisle on the legislation. This is the answer to make sure that we can start educating women and providers and families about, about what a healthy pregnancy looks like. Price says only 17 states use Title V grants on stillbirth prevention. Iowa is one of them. Price hopes that other states take after Iowa.